705 and starting today and through the weekend, there are plenty of opportunities around the tri-state to honor our local heroes, our veterans. Our friends Chris and Janine with WGRR are with Local 12's Megan Moore this morning now at their annual Veterans Day breakfast show and she's got details on a lot of local events. Megan? <laughs> Good morning, Sheila. That is right. We have some of our local veterans here already getting ready for the breakfast this morning. I want to take you through some of the other events going on around town today. Uh, the Warren County Career Center is hosting more than 200 veterans for breakfast at 8 this morning in the school's cafeteria. Fort Thomas Independent Schools is hosting a ceremony with orchestra and strings performances. And UC is also going to be holding their annual Veterans Day ceremony at 10 this morning at McMicken Commons. The Kenwood by Senior Star is hosting Colonel Brad Wenstrup at a veterans luncheon today. He'll share stories about his military service. Seating starts at 1130 at the Marcus uh, Theater on Kenwood Road. And then at Miami University's Voice of America Learning Center in Westchester, their annual veterans tribute will focus on women veterans, and that starts at 11. In Lebanon, the Countryside YMCA will honor veterans. The event's free. There will be speakers and music, and it begins at noon. Lunch will be at 1. And then tomorrow morning is the Disabled American Veterans 5K. That will be at Sawyer Point at 9 a.m. Now Sunday, when the Bengals take on the Saints in the Salute to Service game, there will be a flyover during the National Anthem and a military tug-of-war team and all U.S. Army team at halftime. They'll also have a selfie with a soldier booth in the stadium and local soldiers interacting with fans. And then also Holy Cross Immaculata Church in Mount Adams will have their 47th Annual Armed Forces Sabbath Ceremony Sunday. Again, that's at 1030. Also Sunday, the Alt Park Advisory Council is hosting a rededication and ceremonial tree planting of their World War I memorial from 10 to 11. This Veterans Day actually marks the 100th anniversary of the signing of the armistice ending World War I. Congressman Brad Wenstrup will be speaking there, and uh, they'll also have a flyover during that ceremony. And then at the Delhi Township Veterans Memorial Park, there will be a dedication and roll call of 40 new veterans' names to the Wall of Honor Monument. So a lot of things going on on around town this weekend and again right here at WGRR this morning they are having the Veterans Day breakfast show so you can tune in on the radio as well. Guys I'll send it back to you. And thanks and you can do this too. We would love to see pictures of your family and friends who are serving or who have served. Upload them at local12.com slash chime 